In case you missed it, I reset my island again. I know, I'm a chronic resetter, so even if you didn't watch the last video, you can probably guess what happened. I picked my map, met my starters, named my island, earned 5,000 nook miles and paid off my first house loan right away, and on day two I found the first three villagers, and then after building all the houses for them and moving them in, resident services upgraded the following day, and hey, I wonder who the first campsite villager was. I moved in four more villagers after that in some cursed ways and plopped down a bunch of shit to get to three stars as quickly as I could and yay it worked! KK Slider sang a song and boom terraforming unlocked. Now normally I like to start immediately decorating on the island but Bianca ended up moving out so I went on a 109 ticket villager hunt. Yeah I did end up regretting it but I found Samson and now here we are. Believe it or not all of that only took place within the first two weeks of the island. I did do a bunch of time traveling but like technically, if we do the math correctly, it's only the 15th of September. I started this island on the 1st of September. It's been a very long time since I played last. I have no idea where any of my things are. Where are all my tools? Where are all my villagers? I, I don't know. Why is my watering can on the ground over here? We need to figure, just figure some things out. My island's at three stars now, so... I don't really need to worry about the star rating. I have so many furniture and everything lying around the island. I think we need to start off by just, just, you know, resetting, cleaning up the island, getting things back to normal so things can just feel more intact, you know? And also another important mission that I need to do right away, as you can see, museum currently not upgraded. Uh, and I would like Brewster on my island, so I think we should start off, basically, by trying to donate as many critters as I can. I have so many of them just lying around the island. I was using them as furniture to try and get to three stars as quickly as I could, right? So, you know, we're gonna just grab all these bugs right now, and we're gonna donate them. Who, whose house is this? Like, I don't even know. Is this Hans's house? I think it's Hans, right? Yeah, it's been so long since I played on this island, dude. I've been playing on my other island this whole time. I, like, I just, I just, I just, I'm a mess. BB Rex has said it best. I'm a mess, babes. That's what's happening. All right, I'm pretty sure I have like a bunch of critters over here lying around. Yes, I do. I saw one <laughs> all the way in the corner over there as well. So we'll grab that and then hopefully Hopefully I have enough to just upgrade the museum right away because like I said, I really would like to get the roost uh, mainly so that, you know, we can actually go to a Cap'n Island and actually have something impactful happen on the island. Because let's be honest, Cap'n's Islands, we'll, we'll, we'll get into it later. I don't feel like rambling right now. Why, hello, good sir. It is Blathers and I'm here with some critters. And even though everybody loves to tell me that you can donate more than one item at once. Uh, when Blathers is in his tent, you can't. So I'm literally gonna have to do this one by one once again. And unfortunately, Blathers, I'm so sorry. Normally I love to hear you ramble, but um, you know, we need to we need to cut to the chase. Like, let's just try and get these done as quickly as we can. I genuinely don't understand though why we can only do things one by one. I mean, like you can donate more than one fast fossil. Who the hell is a fossil? A fossil more than one, I think, at the beginning. Or at least like you can get them discovered in a big group, but you can't donate them. I don't know why. I don't know why they did that. <laughs> it's so annoying. I think it's because like Nintendo just assumed that everybody was gonna catch a critter, run to Blathers, donate it, and then run back out and then catch another critter and come back and donate it. When like, that's obviously not true. Most of us, myself included, Blather says, hey, we need 15 critters. We're gonna go get the 15 critters all at once. Especially if you're playing in a season where there's 15 critters around, which usually there are regardless. Nintendo, maybe you could have just made it a little easier again. Again, like I would love to just sit here and ramble and say that my biggest problem with Animal Crossing New Horizons is that it's still in that slow and steady mentality, but we're not gonna do that right now. We're not. I'm literally just talking my shit right now. Let me quickly donate all this. Okay, we still need six more donations. Ugh, six more critters. Am I really gonna be running around now? Have I donated any fossils yet? I think if I could just grab a shovel Hopefully there's six fossils just lying around on the island that I could dig up and donate instead. Cause baby, I would really not like to spend some time looking for bugs right now. I have no idea what bugs and fish I've even donated. I wish I could catch this cockroach right here and give it, but unfortunately I didn't mean to kill it. Sorry to the vegans. Do I have any fossils right now? 
Not in my inventory, but I do have all my tools here. I was wondering where they went. I guess like while we walk around, we can try and like catch up with the rest of the island, see what's going on. Caroline, oh my God, Caroline, I literally forgot about you, hi. I'm really glad we met. Oh, this is my first time talking to her. Wow. <laughs> Let me ask you this. What kind of book would you want to have with you on a deserted island? A love book, a business book, or a comedy? If I'm on a deserted island and I could bring one thing with me, why the fuck would I bring myself a book? No offense to the bookworms in chat, but like I would bring a knife or something to like help me catch food. But I mean, like, I guess if I had to find, if I had to bring a book, I'd probably want a comedy, something that's entertaining. Now that I think about it, comedy really is the perfect choice. Being on a deserted island could get lonely and having something funny to read would cheer you up. See, Caroline gets it. You can laugh as loud as you want without disturbing anybody. Caroline's a real one for that. That's exactly my mindset. Okay, Caroline, you and me, we see eye to eye. I love that for us. Shari, hello, how's it? going oh my god my bestie it's gonna take more than a little rain to get me down cheeky so true shari so true i love the optimism now where the hell are these fossils i'm getting sick and tired of playing on this island i have scoured this side of the island and i have not found a single dig spot i really hope do i have to like time travel oh never mind i was gonna say i'm gonna have to time travel but nope we have a fossil right here it better be a fossil that's one fossil down i wonder where my other ones are. Wait, wait, I have a snail right here. Have I caught the snail yet? No, I haven't. Okay, so that's two. We only need four more. I mean, we could try and catch this fish right here. And hopefully it's a fish that I haven't caught yet. So that would make things easier. Oh, oh my God, I actually caught it. Oh, good job me. I did that. It's a black bass. Oh, I haven't caught a black bass yet. Never mind. That's worth celebrating. Maybe this diving beetle is something I haven't caught yet, although I'm pretty sure I have. Oh, I haven't caught it yet. Have, what the hell have I caught? I feel like I already caught every and my net broke. We have a fossil spot right here. Hopefully it's a fossil. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We're making some progress. Yes, we are. And I think we only need three more fossils, two more fossils. If we could just get two fossils. Okay, now we only need one more and then we should be set and we can get one step closer to unlocking Brewster. Oh, and here it is. Oh my God, right when I finished my sentence, I found the final fossil needed. I love when things work out for me perfectly. And just like that, we have enough specimens to upgrade the museum. But I guess before we end off the day, I said I was gonna clean up the island a bit. Uh, I specifically wanna clean up around resident services, just kind of clear the space up as much as I can. Uh, but first, let's talk to mother over here. Look who's here, how have you been? I feel like there was something I'd been meaning to tell you. Child. What was it? Oh, well, it's gone. Great, great reintroduction kit. I love, I love that for you. Anyways, um, yeah, so I, um, why am I struggling to speak? Let's just start off by selling all these flowers here. I planted these flowers here for Nook Miles and now they no longer need to be around. So let's just get rid of them. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, the girls. Oh my God. Are they beefing? Wait, no, my shovel broke. Wait, what was that? She just went right up in Kit's face. Oh my God, Shari, behave. That's a mother. She's with her baby. You're gonna do that in front of the child? Crazy, 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 Shari. That's why she's my best friend. I don't even have another shovel. Oh my God. Ugh, I am not in the mood to craft, so I guess we could just head to Nook's Cranny and buy another shovel. Listen, like I said, three years, I've had 10 islands at this point. I don't care anymore, you know? I've tried and done everything. People love to give me tips on how to play the game, but like, I've been playing this game for long enough where like, I just know what to do and I know what works best for me. And you know, people love to just be like, why are you spending money at Nook's Cranny buying tools when you can craft them? Because I'm lazy. I don't wanna craft. Crafting is annoying. <gasps> Mountain bike, I'm sorry. I think it's a lot easier and better for me to just buy all my items instead of crafting them. Because unlike most Animal Crossing New Horizons players, I hate crafting. I genuinely don't like crafting at all. Like I, I really hope in the next game, whenever it comes, if they wanna make crafting a thing, I don't want it to be as like a big of a thing as it was in this game. I hate that everything is craftable. Like tools being craftable, okay. 
You know, like it's not horrible by any means. I, I, I wish you were able to buy the tools instead, at least like the golden tools. And speaking of crafting things, why are the holiday items craftable in this game? Like genuine question. I hate, hate, hate that you have to craft all the holiday items. They give you the recipe for the item instead of the actual item themselves. That like, that was the most exciting thing about the holidays in the older games was how unique all these old items felt. Like the spooky set or the Christmas set, the jingle set. You know, like they felt unique and one of a kind because you can only get them once a year. But instead now in this game, it's like, no, you're able to just get a recipe and craft as many of them as you want. That's boring to me. I hate that you're able to have more than one of the item. It doesn't make it as exciting as it used to be. Now, obviously not every single item is like that in this game. Like the Christmas items are still something you have to buy or get from Jingle. I think the festival items as well aren't craftable. Not all of them, like the parade float specifically isn't craftable, things like that. There's still a few things here and there. I just hate how abundant it is in this game. Essentially, that's what I'm trying to say. I wish I wish it wasn't like that. All right, I am going to sell all these fruit that I have from these fruit trees lying around because um, I'm poor and I need money. And also I just remembered that in order to unlock Brewster, you have to donate not only an art piece, but you also have to donate a diving creature beetle thing. You know, <laughs> you know one of those, the sea critters. So I guess it would be smart to just get a diving suit right now. So we're ahead of the curve. And um, I also made sure to have enough money so that I could buy this mountain bike. Shout out to the mountain bikes. So the next day while the museum was closed, I actually decided to start decorating my island and I went for a more minimal approach with the island entrance, kept things super duper simple. And I tried to just use items that I had lying around the island cause I'm too lazy to go get some brand new ones. And I came up with this little thing going on here. Uh, still a work in progress because this time around, I'm really trying not to use treasure islands to get items. I know I used a treasure island to get these Nook Miles tickets for the last villager hunt, but that's because I'm a YouTuber. And I know that sounds like an excuse because it is. I decided to go for a very like minimal sort of vibe. You know, we have just this path going up here straight to town hall. And I'm planning on putting a villager's house right here. And I gave them this cute little yard. Uh, the reason why I haven't placed it down yet is because I'm broke. I have zero bells at the moment because there was a barbecue in Nook's Cranny yesterday, and I spent all of my savings on said barbecue. I think today, before we head to Blathers, we need to find the Money Rock, because the Money Rock can give us more than enough to actually move said house into the plot. And let's hope that it's this one right here. Okay, no, it's not. We're not wasting time. Where are my other rocks? We have another rock right here, once again. Uh, let's hope it's this. No, not again. Ugh, my goodness. Am I really gonna be running around trying to find said money rock? All I need is one stinking money rock. One money rock. I don't even remember where any of my rocks are on the island. <laughs> so forgive me as I try to find them. Speaking of, here's one right here. Please let this be the money rock. Oh, thank God it is. Oh my gosh, we need to focus now. And let's hope that I managed to hit it successfully eight times and we can get more than enough bells. Damn, I did that. I meant to say bam, I did that, I did that. Boom, we got 14,000 bells. Actually, hold on, no we don't. We have 16,100 bells. Exactly, exactly. That's more than enough to move a house. Now I have a little dilemma. Uh, Y'all saw how the entrance looked. I'm currently debating on who to put. Small part of me wants to put Samson's house. This is Samson's house, right? Oh no, this is Ozzy's house. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Ozzy's house, but I also kind of want to put Kit's house over there too. I feel like the yellows would work really well. Now I know that I can just use Happy Home Paradise to like customize all the villagers homes so it perfectly matches. But um, like I said, one of my rules for this island is that anytime a villager asks to move out, I'm going to let them go. So there's no point in creating like a forever space for a specific villager because in the future they might ask to leave. Who do we think matches this vibe currently? Comment down below right now. Your comment will actually influence my decision 100%. Mm -hmm. You do that and I will go and figure out who to move on to the island with your help. And of course, I'm gonna have to sit through a tutorial now because this is my first time doing it. I mean, I do wish there was an option to like skip 
tutorials in Animal Crossing. Like, it would be great if, like, when Timmy and Tommy at the beginning ask, like, hey, is this your first time doing this? You could just be like, no. And they'll be like, okay, we won't help you then. Anyways, I've given it some thought. And between Samson and Kit, I have two beautiful queens standing before me, but only one picture in my hand. The picture that I have represents who's going to live right in front of an airport, which I feel like that kind of spoils it. Um, also, why am I choosing Samson? It's between Kit and Ozzy. Why was I? Oh, my God. Can you imagine I picked Samson and I put his house there by accident? No, we're putting Ozzy because Mother Kit is a mother first and foremost. And I don't think baby Caboodle should be sitting in front of an airport with those loud ass planes. Uh, -uh. That's not good for her development. We need to be... You know, we need to be kind to these villagers. Yeah, I think it works well. Ozzy has a really cute exterior, so I I, I accept this 100%. And with that, the entrance is basically completed for now. Um, I'm planning on swapping out these fences here with the Harv's Island fences instead, the log ones, because I think those would look a lot cuter. Although I'm not mad at the simple picket fences, I might keep these ones back here because they are actually quite cute, but maybe I'll change them to the white ones. Uh, I'm also planning on putting a bunch of custom designs everywhere. I just haven't decided on which ones to use, although... If you're not new to the channel, you can probably guess which ones I'm gonna be using. <laughs> ooh, ooh, if it isn't this. At long last, the Nook Tits Museum has opened, this very day no less. An impressive feat of engineering, craftsmanship, and good old island ingenuity. Is it not? Sure. With that, museum is officially upgraded. And um, now we have to figure out how to get an artwork in to the museum in order to unlock Brewster. I don't actually know. I think if I just time travel to the next day, Red will just spawn on the island, but I'm like 90% sure you have to donate a sea critter first. I could Google it, but I think it would be more fun for me to just get a sea critter anyways, because it gives us a chance to go diving on the island, which is something that I haven't done in a really long time. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I went diving, but um, bam. That's exciting. Who taught our character how to do a front flip? I want to know. Like, again, the Animal Crossing Island representative is proving further and further why they're the strongest character in the Nintendo Cinematic Universe. Like, the fact that they can eat one piece of fruit, just one fruit, and dig up an entire tree, they're able to just casually create a brand new river or, like, build a cliff, no problem. They can push a utility pole. Do you know how heavy utility poles are in real life and our player is able to just push them around like they're nothing? I'm telling you, if the Animal Cross like the Animal Crossing character, we need to be, be we need to be aware of them. Just saying. Why did I go into town hall? Okay, so I'm just going to show him this sea critter. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to say I found a sea critter. But um wait, do the sea critters just count as fish now? I thought they doesn't he oh I thought he used to be like, oh my god, you found a sea critter. Wow. I guess now the island supports that. Or did they get rid of that in an update? I think they got rid of that in the update where they got rid of the brown museum. Wait, oh. They really... <laughs> Why did they do all that? Ugh, who, who, who knows? More importantly, look at these two just hanging out together. What an odd duo. Hamfrey and Caroline. Hi. I've been playing on this island for a few weeks now. I think before we head on to the next day, I really want to try and get myself a brand new outfit. I need to get out of the default outfit. There better be some good shit in Able Sisters. My character needs to serve charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. Which speaking of, oh my god, hello Shari, how are you? I'm not really the trendy type, but I wouldn't complain if something I got here caught on, cheeky. So true, Shari. So true. She says she's not about the trends, but she is. Is. That's her way of confirming it. All right, do we have any cute clothes in here? I mean, like these V-neck sweaters are quite cute, but they are a little plain. Where did my character's legs go? That's so weird. Why did they just disappear? I mean, I do like the groovy shirt, but I don't know if I like it enough to wear it. Um, <laughs> there's literally nothing. Oh, there. Oh, oh, I mean, I could wear that. Hello, that's my brand at this point. I think I'll just take the clown nose. Like I said, there aren't really any other items in here. <laughs> like, no, you know what? I came in here looking for a brand new look and I think I'm leaving in my truest form. This is what I deserve to be. Gruff, get out of the fucking shot. I'm trying to take a thumbnail. Oh my God. Bi 
Yeah, walk away. Oh my God, he literally tried to make a face. Get out of my screen time. Today, we have a visitor staying at the campsite. How interesting. I didn't expect to get one of those, but more importantly, ooh, I see him there. Red is here. So we'll go look for him afterwards. But right now, I want to see who's in the campsite. Is it a dreamy? Is it an icon? It better not be a flop. Oh my God. <laughs> Sasha? Oh my God, hi. Hi there. Are you from this island? I'm here camping. Do you camp? You gotta try it sometimes. It's like being inside, except you're outside, hoppity. Hippity hoppity, come to my property. Oh my God, I want you. I've only been here a day, but I love this island. It's almost as much as peanut butter chocolate chip cookies taste, tasty. That's why you and me need to live together. Oh my God, move here. Move here right now. What? I can live here? That'd be super cool, but... I have bugs back at home that are waiting to see me. I just can't, oh my God. You just said you wanted to come and now you're not coming? No, you're coming. Bitch, you are coming right now. This was not a part of the plan, but no. I want Sasha on the island so bad. He's a 2.0 villager. I don't want your old school jacket. No, I want you to move in with me. Stop offering me your clothes. <laughs> Why is he offering me all of his clothes? Oh my goodness. This place doesn't have jelly maps. Come live here, come live here. You must really want me to move here since you're inviting me again, but moving is hard. Hey, let's do something fun instead, like play a game. And if you win, I'll move here. Sure, why not? I'm down to play some games if it could get Sasha to move onto the island. Oh God, we have to pick a thing. Oh crap. Is it a heart, a diamond, a spade, or a club? I kind of hope it's a heart because I heart you and I want you to live on the island, babes. Please, please let it be a heart. Are you kidding me? It's a diamond. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, you know what? Let's do this. Balloon hat sounds good. He picked a diamond last time. So if my theory, I think this time it's gonna be a black card and it's gonna be a, cl oh, it's a diamond again. Okay, never mind. You know what? He's offering a V-neck sweater this time, and I would like a brand new shirt, and those are actually pretty cute. Um, so here, he's gonna choose between a heart, a diamond, a spade, and a club once again. He's picked diamond twice in a row now. He's not picking diamond again. He's going for a spade, a club, okay. I've only been here a day, but I love this island. I hope I get to live on an island like this one day, so move here. Oh my God, we're playing a game again, sure. Sure, okay, he's picked a diamond, a diamond, a club. So do we think he's gonna pick a club again? Are, oh my God. Stop, why can't you just pick the card I want you to pick? I'm in charge here, bucko. Things have to go my way and I want you to live here. I don't give a fuck, you are living here. I came to camp on this island cause I had a dream that I lived here and I had fun every day. What do you think about my dream, Vis? Let's make it a reality. Hmm, moving sounds like a lot of work, but then I'd get to hang with you more. I can't decide. Wait, I've got an idea, let's just play a game. Ugh, this bitch, why are we playing games? Why are we playing games? Why can't you just want to live on my island? Red or black? Is it a diamond? It's probably a diamond. I should have, I, this should have happened three weeks ago. Oh my God, at this point. And just like that, Sasha is moving on to the island. The only problem is who is he going to kick out? Would it be okay if I talk to Mint? That's fine by me. Okay, sure. Sure, yeah, Mint's fine. Okay, as long as it wasn't Shari or Ozzy. Specifically Ozzy, because I just moved his house into a cute spot and it works perfectly with the aesthetic. What an eventful day already. The day has just begun and we already have a brand new face moving onto the island. But just like that though, I'm so sorry to say to the Mint stands, but unfortunately, where does she live again? Hold on. Oh, it's you. Uh, I haven't told you yet, have I? There's no way to sugarcoat this, so I'll give it to you straight. I'm moving off the island tomorrow. I'm glad to have met you and I will not forget you. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you to you too, Mint. I'm gonna be honest. I actually forgot that she lived on the island. Dude, I actually don't even remember who lives on the island aside from Shari and Kit and Humphrey and Caroline and Ozzy. Who are the other residents on the island? Oh, Samson, right, of course, Samson who just moved in. Hey, this, what's with the puzzled look, bud? I told you I was gonna move here. This is my first time talking to him since he moved in. Oh, as you can see, I really have been active on this island nonetheless. But more importantly, now that that's out of the way, we still need to find one more sketchy into, oh, hello, Ozzy, what do you want? This, do you ever just feel like crying? <laughs> 
Oh my God, I almost died. Do you ever just feel like crying? Every day of the week, I'm literally wearing a crowd nose right now because I want to fucking cry. <laughs> sure you do. Everybody feels sad sometimes. When you feel like you need to cry, don't hold back. Use your reactions just like this. Look, I'm so sad. <laughs> if you ever need to turn on the waterworks and someone who, and who someone, the, oh, I know how to read. Oh my God, what a perfect image right here. Me crying while wearing the freaking clown nose. Like, it can't get any lower than this. Anyways, I have to take more thumbnails now because I think it would be funnier to take the thumbnails with a crying face. <laughs> <laughs> with the cloud nose along, like this, this is just, just wow. Just wow indeed. Red's ship is docked at the back and I'm like 90% sure he usually wanders around the island. So like, I haven't seen him yet. Does he wander around the island? Oh no, this ship's kind of sketchy looking. I should have bored without asking. I wanted to rob his ship. Imagine if we had the opportunity to rob him. So now I have to actually walk around and look for Red. Like as if I want to be doing that right now. I have other things to do. There's a new episode of Survivor in an hour. I need this thing to be done before that. Ready or not, here I come. Where are you? He's literally not here. Ozzy, why are you sitting next to a bench? Oh, here he is. Hi, he's just walking around with his ass out, by the way. Well, well, you from around here? Hi, the name's Red. I work in sales and you are this. What a great name, intelligent, strong. I can already tell we're gonna be pals. No, not pals, family. Blah, blah, blah. He wants art, he wants to sell me some art and I just wanna complete the museum so I can get Brewster on the island, sure. Give me your art. I don't even care if you scam me right now. Oh, thank God. We don't even have to run to the back. We go there automatically. Oh. Never mind. Ooh, he's got some nice features right here. And I'm pretty sure that every single art is genuine. So it doesn't really matter which one I get. But out of all of these artworks, we have this one, this one, this one, and this one. I definitely want to get the girl with the pearl earring. That's one of my favorite paintings in real life. So 100%, that's going to be the first one in the Nook Tits Museum. Oh, but I just realized I'm going to have to time travel one more day because it comes in the mail on the next day. Right, right, right. You can't just take it home with you. Before I time travel to the next day, I would like to quickly check to see if the log fencing is available in the Nook Miles machine. This is taking me back to the 2020 days, not even 2020, like 2021 as well, before I discovered Treasure Islands, I used to actually have to go and look for the items I want. They're giving me a fence that I already have the recipe for. Are you kidding me? I literally just got this yesterday. Is there anything else worth my time right now that I could just get? I don't think though, I don't, I don't know. I don't really want to get anything else right now. I mean, I could, maybe get the pro design thing just so that I can unlock the machine thing on my phone. That's probably a good idea, but I should save my Nook Miles, at least a thousand of them for a cap and island. Off to the next day we go after a celebration because I unlocked a new app on my phone. I wish I was that excited for things in real life. I just got a gift from Dodo Airlines for flying so many times. Shout out to that last villager hunt I went on. <laughs> That's why I was able to get these gifts. Okay, so here we have a Dal T. Ooh, Dodo Airlines swag. Oh, that would definitely be a cute cute outfit, but I don't feel like repping an airline right now. But we have the wistful painting in store. Hopefully it's a real painting. Otherwise I'm gonna be annoyed, but let's quickly go and donate it to Blathers. An artwork has now been donated to the museum. So hopefully if I just walk back out and walk back in, he is going to be thinking, yes. Yes, here we go, here we go. Hmm. Ah, who, who? Oh dear, I didn't see you there, Vis. Pardon me, I'm afraid I was quite lost in thought just now. You see, there's a matter of which, oh, actually your timing is impeccable. I was thinking of ways to draw more folks to our museum when I decided to add a cafe. So now Brewster, an old friend, he wants Brewster to come onto the island. I love that the mission is that Brewster is missing. Like Brewster is missing and it's our job to go find him. And he just gives us his photo. Like. That's literally one of the easiest ways to get a villager photo in this game. And in order to do that, we have to head to a Cap'n Island. Um, not to drag Cap'n Islands for a second, but like aside from Brewster, especially now that it's been basically two years since Cap'n Islands have been introduced, Brewster is literally the only like 
monumental thing from a Cap'n Island. I'm sorry, but like Cap'n Islands, to me, they're such a missed opportunity. We have a bottle, first bottle of the day. Who is it from? Kabuki, ooh, that's a cutie. And he's giving me a raccoon figurine. Ooh, I like that recipe a lot. Thank you, Kabuki, thank you. You know, speak of the devil, here's Cap'n right here. Now, what do we have here? Yours be a face I've not seen before. I'm not doing that, no. <laughs> Let's just head to the island. Ooh, and here we are on the first Cap'n Island of the new island. There's only one reason why I'm here. Oh, two reasons. I forgot there's bushes. Ooh, I'm definitely gonna grab these bushes, first and foremost. But before we do that, there he is, my big titty king, Brewster, hello. You out here looking for gyroids too? No, I'm looking for you. You're looking for me. Mind if I ask what you're after? Blathers, your boyfriend. Your friend sent you, or asked what, where you are. I see, I hear you. Tell him that for me. Oh, and also, and he's giving me a gyroid fragment too. Thank you, thank you, Brewster. Oh, my king, and just like that, We've officially unlocked the roost. Ugh, goddamn, do I love the roost. But yeah, to drag Cap'n Islands for a second, of course, perfect, my shovel had to break before that. But um, missed opportunity in this game, like most of the things, but it could have been so cool. Okay, like here's minor spoiler for a future Angry Coconut video. I'm planning on doing a video where I kind of like discuss ways to improve the NPCs in this game. I don't know when that's gonna come out, but expect it in the near future. Cap'n was one of like my bigger talking points, specifically with Cap'n Islands. I don't know, like for me, Cap'n Islands in theory work great. They're cool, but like after you play for so long, they're basically just glorified Nook Miles Islands. And it's like, you know, for a lot of players who don't really care for the decorating aspects or the grinding aspects of the game, you're not gonna go to them. I rarely go to Cap'n Islands now because I could just go to a treasure island if I need crafting materials and whatnot. Not on this island, but on my other island. I think ways to improve Cap'n Islands. First of all, there's a bottle. Who do we think this bottle is from? Curly. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't read that. First things first, Cap'n Islands, um, the fact that they're like completely randomized, very, very annoying. That's kind of what draws like the charm away from it for me. Like I think there needs to be an option to either go to a completely random island or revisit an island that you've already been to. So like say you went to a cherry blossom island once, after that you're able to go to them however many times you want. It's so useful. Think of it like Stardew Valley, the caves, you know, after you visit a floor, and then if you unlock the elevator, you're able to revisit a floor in between, you know, every five floors, whenever you want, if you need like a specific material. Maybe it's extra nook miles in order to do that. So like instead of a thousand, it's probably like 2000 nook miles. Cap'n will show you a map very similar to the map say in like Happy Home Paradise. And like all the maps that you haven't unlocked yet, they stay hidden. But then the maps that are unlocked, you're able to go to them whenever you want. And then I think it would be also really cool if Cap'n Islands weren't only for crafting materials because again, they're basically Nook Miles Islands, but cheaper. And you can only go to one a day. So it's like, what's the point? <laughs> you know, you can just go to a Nook Miles Island for the most part. At least you have better chances of getting a crafting material you'll want from there. One of my theories from when the 2.0 update was first announced was that we were gonna be able to villager hunt on Cap'n Islands, don't ask why. And I think it could have been really cool if maybe there was like a 50% chance that when you head to a Cap'n Island, there's a villager there who's like kind of stranded, not necessarily stranded, but like, they're there with a task, you know? They have like a little mission for you, whether it's like something similar to a treasure island or a treasure hunt, sorry. Like maybe the villager's like, hey, I lost my hat or I lost my shovel, can you help me find it? And you go and dig it up from the ground or like maybe, you know, Desert Island Escape in New Leaf where like you had to brawl with the giant snake. Imagine if they brought that back into New Horizons on the Cap'n Islands. Um, we found Brewster, by the way, Blathers. Hope you're happy, hooray. Yeah, like just more missions. And then maybe, maybe if you help the villager out and you know, they're grateful for you. If you have an empty plot, maybe that villager could move in or maybe it could be like, if your island is full, they'll be like, hey, if a villager decides to move off your island, just call me and I'll come. And they'll be like the next to autofill on your island. Something like that. I don't know. I just want more reasons to go to a Cap'n Island that isn't just 
getting crafting materials, especially when you have like no idea what island you're going to. I don't like that the islands are randomized. I wish you were at least able to pick and choose. That's just like a working thought that I have to discuss it in the comments. Do you agree or disagree and maybe add on to it? That would be fine. I'm gonna quickly plant some of these bushes because the only thing missing from this entrance are bushes. I wanted to like add a bunch of these around and it's perfect that it's the hibiscus bushes because these are my favorite bushes in the game. We're gonna put one there, we're gonna put one there. I think I'm going to put one in here. Maybe swap out this weed. Cute, cute. And maybe, do I wanna swap? No, that's, we have enough bushes. Should I put a bush here? Maybe a bush in front of, no, that's gonna be too many bushes. Let's put weeds instead, cute. And then we'll put another bush. Oh, where are we going? We'll put another bush right here behind this area in this tree. And I will definitely be filling in the bushes here. We'll put one here right in front of this tree. Please go where I want you to. That's not where I wanted you to go. What the hell? Actually, no, even cooler. Let's put a bush back here and then we'll put the flower in front of the dead bush over here. Cute. Like I said, very much work in progress, but I'm quite happy with how it's coming out so far. Maybe we'll put like another bush here. Again, I'm trying to go for like a very minimal-esque feel, but also very like, I don't know, Animal Crossing core. Like I want the island as a whole to feel like something that the game would just randomly generate. Like I don't want it to feel like somebody actually made it. Like you go to Harv's Island and like the area is already decorated for you. That's the kind of vibe I want. Like think like a Pokemon town. I think like a Pokemon town is the best description. It just feels kind of random. I don't know if that makes sense, but like you get what I'm trying to say. So I don't need to explain it any further, but yeah, with that, that we have to time travel once again. Let's time travel to the next day. And then we're gonna have to time travel to the following day. Oh, wait, 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 before I go, before I go. Did I already check the thing? I don't remember if I checked the thing. I need the log fencing before we end this video. If we don't get it by the end of this video, I will just try to get it off camera and replace the things because I really, really want the Harv fences around my island already. No, so close. The rope fencing could work, but I want the log fencing. That's the one I want. Oh, right, Sasha. Oh my God, I literally forgot that mint moved out. <laughs> so the museum is currently closed and Brewster won't be here until tomorrow. I, I literally forgot about you. Oh my God, ciao, Groovy. Hans. We haven't spoken to him all video. I am so sorry to this man for forgetting about his existence. Who is on my island? Who the hell is on my island? We need to, rem we, like, we need a refresher right now. Shari, Antonio, Ozzy, Kit, Hans, Caroline, Sasha, Gruff, Humphrey and Samson. How the hell did I just forget about that? I don't know. I don't know. I am such an incompetent island representative. It's embarrassing. <laughs> it is so embarrassing. I am sorry. Anyways, more excitingly, where is he? Where is he? Ooh, his house is so bright. Very spring core, very Easter-esque. Oh my God, he's a rabbit too. Is he a descendant of Zipper? Is he the person behind Zipper T Bunny? Cause his catchphrase is hoppity. Are you Zipper T Bunny under the costume? And like, I always said too, that Sasha does give me like a sus vibe. I don't know, there's just something shady about him. What if he's Zipper T Bunny? I think I cracked the code. There is one thing that I've um completely forgotten to do. It's been almost a month since I've been playing on this island and um Nook is ominously staring at me right now. There's a reason for that. I've completely forgotten about the customization workshop. I have never done it while Resident Services was fully upgraded. Like this is gonna look so weird. Oh my God, like <laughs> he's telling me about customization in a fully upgraded Resident Services. I'm so used to this happening in the tent. I like that it's optional though. Like I like that you don't technically have to do it. Like that's a nice thing. And I think in general with Animal Crossing, you know, more things like this, things that aren't necessary to the game, because like, I'm gonna be honest, terraforming as well. Terraforming is the, the other thing that I wanna say. It is technically optional in this game. You don't have to do it because like it's, you know, something that you have to unlock. But aside from terraforming and decorating, there really isn't much to do in this game. Hopefully in the next game, they make decorating as a whole 
feel more like an optional thing and not like the only thing you're able to do in the game. That's really it for me. I love decorating in this game, I really do, but the charm of the older games of just logging on and hanging out with your villagers, that's more fun to me. And I think the main reason for that is because, you know, the villagers in this game are just quite stale. So, ugh. I also need to chop wood. Oh God, I, my ax broke. Are you kidding me? Do I have an ax? Oh, thank God I have an ax. Now I need to get myself 12 pieces of wood. There's no need for me to be doing this right now. I could have just not done this, but I might as well do it on camera so that I can actually get it done. <laughs> so. Yes, we need 12 pieces of wood. Kit, don't mind me as I chop this tree down in front of you. You are currently sitting on my wood. Thank you. Don't take that out of context. Oh my God, ew. And now I'm getting no wood. Don't take that out of context either. But like, where is the wood? I want wood. How many do I have currently? Six. Okay, we're halfway there. We just need six more. Can this one just give me three? No, but it gave me one, so... Thank you for that at least. All right, we got two more, so we just need three more now. I pray that this tree gives me three pieces of wood. No, it didn't even give me one. Are you kidding me? I hate this tree. That tree I have beef with, how dare it do that? And, ooh, okay, great. Oh, and my ax broke, just in time. At least I got the final piece of wood. <laughs> before my axe broke. Thank you for that. And now it's time to customize the wooden work, the wooden wardrobe. And now it's time to customize the wooden wardrobe. And now it's time to customize the wooden wardrobe. I always like to go for the pink one because I think the pink one is quite cute. But I think this time around, I actually wanna go for the green one. I don't know. This island in general gives me a very green vibe. So why not feed into it? And just like that, I finally finally unlocked customizing after a very long time. It shouldn't have taken me this long to do it, but at least it's done now. Tom Nook, I don't care, stop talking. And before we time travel to the next day, I have an important question. Will the Nook Mile machine have the fence I want? No. Why is he blocking the way to the resident services? Oh, never mind. He's not. But like, he's literally sat his ass right down in the middle of the path. Is he trying to make a statement or something? Ozzy, you're not slick or cute for that. Bad behavior. Bad behavior indeed. What do you want? I have a reaction I can teach you if you got time. One time, I heard a tragic story that left me feeling terrible. Now that I'm looking back on it, I'm getting sad all over again. Oh my god, Ozzy taught me how to cry and now she's teaching me how to be depressed? Is this island okay? Like, what is going on? What is wrong with everybody? I feel for you. Oh my God, Caroline, I'm so sorry for whatever you're going through. I say that as I'm laughing, by the way. Oh my God, am I okay? Blathers, excuse me. We have more important things to discuss upstairs with a special somebody. Hello to my king. Thanks for passing that message on back on that remote island. If you ever find yourself in need of a coffee, just swing on by. And that I will do right now. Oh, I have just enough bells for a cup of coffee too, thank God. Also look, I have a Brewster cup right there. Oh my God, I'm twinning. And then once again, it's a piping hot cup of coffee and I just chug it down like it's nothing. Hot, hot, hot. Just like me, me, me. It almost burnt my tongue, but that's how I like it scorching. Not me, not me. Me and the player, two completely different people in this situation. I prefer my coffee iced. While I'm here, Let's also use another underrated feature in the game, the amiibo telephone thingy. You have reached the amiibo call center. You can use an Animal Crossing character's amiibo to invite them to the roost. I'm going to invite this amiibo right here. Put your guesses right now who it is. Okay, how do you scan this again? Did it work? Yes! This is the amiibo for Isabel, the ultimate girl boss. I definitely would like her on nine in the roost right now because miss girl deserves a vacation after all the shit we put her through new leaf yeah even though she doesn't really do anything in this game she still deserves a vacation how many of y'all abandoned your new leaf towns and left isabel running it oh my god look at her yes thank you so much for inviting me out for coffee this no problem look at the two of us we're just out here having a little coffee date the two girls oh my god smile for the camera Ooh, look at Miss Isabel sipping that coffee. Yes. Yes. Wave to the camera if you're iconic. Yes. <laughs> so I ended up playing the rest of the month off camera and some things definitely went down. For starters, I was out here trying to like continue my designs when like in the background, Gruff 
got into a fight with Ozzy and like it was too late for me to see what happened but that happened and then Hans and Humphrey were talking and guess what happened they got into a fight too and I tried to talk to them but Harv's dumbass came into the way so uh, I accidentally unlocked Harv's island I was gonna do that in the next video but oh well and like poor Humphrey literally fell into a depression after that fight here we have Gruff talking to my best friend Shari and he had the audacity to cuss her off right in front of me look at this poor girl and y'all saw that he literally waved at hamfrey he didn't even give a fuck that he hurt shari's feelings gruff i hate you officially here we have another problematic individual talking with antonio and he decided to make antonio sad like what is up with the old men on this island pissing everybody off I hate it here. This nasty, nasty man. I was trying to take a nice little video of Shari singing and then he had to just hog up the camera from her the entire time. Nasty. And um, I didn't document it, but I did upgrade my Nook's crannies. It's currently under construction. So it's safe to say that month two on Nook tits is gonna be wild. Oh, I just realized all the hibiscus flowers are gone. That's so mean. As soon as I got them on my island, they decided to disappear. That's so rude. How dare they do that? I'm time traveling back. I don't care. That's really all I have for this video. So we're at the end. I really do hope y'all enjoyed it. I really wanted to kind of do a more casual, less play style type video, especially on this new island, because I'm gonna be honest, I don't really have any plans with the island as a whole. I really just want to take things super duper casually. I might do some more decorating off camera, like some zhuzhing up and stuff here and there. I don't really know when you're going to see me next on Nook Tits, but until then, Nook Tits.